Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman and we're taking a look today at the Apple AirPods. These have been out for a while, but I finally just got a pair and I figured I would do a review after I've had some time to play with them. Uh, so we're going to take a look at how they interface with the Apple phones. We'll look at how they might interface with other devices and I'll give you my thoughts about uh, how these might work as a wireless headphone solution here as we get through the rest of this review. But I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure that I paid for these with my own funds. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Nobody is paying for this review and no one is reviewing this content before it is uploaded. So let's take a closer look now at the hardware. Uh, these cost $159 as you see it. Of course, you get two of them, one for the right ear and one for the left ear. Uh, they are pretty much identical to the freebie ear pods that come in your iPhone box here. So they sound the same, uh, same shape and size. I think they've got all the same uh, speaker set up in there. They're really uh, just a wireless version of the regular ear pod. And for, uh, for my testing, at least, I haven't heard any real differences in audio quality out of these versus the wired version. So really what you're paying for here is the uh, convenience of something that is not tied down with the wire. And of course, because Apple has removed the headphone jack from their devices, uh, you can listen with these and also charge at the same time. Uh, they do use a kind of an add-on to the Bluetooth standard when they are connected to an Apple device. So you might get slightly better audio clarity when you're listening to music out of these things but uh, to be honest again I haven't really heard that much of a difference between these and uh, these wired headphones and other Bluetooth headphones for that matter. What I like about this design and the reason why I bought these is that I walk my dog a lot and I want to be able to hear traffic around me so the ear uh, the in-ear solutions haven't worked so well for me but uh, these really do work nicely because I'm able to hear what I'm listening to but also hear uh, traffic and other things around me. Unlike the wired ear pods these hold themselves in my ear uh, much nicer than I found on the wired version. I think with the wired earphones here, what happens is that they tend to um, push up against me with the wire and they often just pop out really easily from my ear when I'm walking the dog. Uh, these I've spent the last, probably about the last two or three days taking the dog out for a walk and it really takes a lot of effort here to uh, shake them out of your ear and they generally hold themselves in uh, pretty nicely, at least for the level of activity that I'm doing. So I think if you're jogging, you should be okay. Uh, if you're doing some more high end or high impact sporting activities, I think that might uh, impact things a little greater perhaps for uh, keeping them in place. But generally, in my experience, they've really uh, not moved around all that much even when I'm out uh, walking pretty vigorously. Now the big change on these versus the wired ear, ear pods here is that the AirPods have a sensor on them that detects when uh, these are placed in your ear. So when you're using them with an Apple device, there's no pairing to do, there's no selection. Uh, once you put them in your ear, they recognize that they're inside an ear and will communicate with the phone and have all the audio transferred over automatically. And what's also cool is you can decide to use one of these. So if you just want to use it like a Bluetooth headset or something, it'll convert itself to mono mode and you can talk on it and do everything else and then have the other one charge at the same time. Now, speaking of charging, the way these things work is that there's a little pillbox here that you can place your ear pods into and these have a battery inside that will charge them when you're not using them. So you can see here uh, the little red light here is blinking and it is charging the uh, ear pods right now. You close it up here, you've got a nice carrying case. Now the ear pods themselves will work for about five hours on a charge and then uh, you can get probably about five or six charges perhaps out of uh, the box here. So uh, the box charges with a lightning cable that's included with it. It's the same cable that you use to charge your iPhone. So as long as you keep this thing charged, uh, your ear pods will have enough juice to keep going. And uh, they say about a 15 minute charge will get you about three hours of usage. So pretty quick, uh, probably after about 20 minutes or so, you'll get these things back up to full charge so you can head out on the road again. And when you're ready to charge your AirPods, they uh, have a magnet here that secures them into the box when you put them in here. So you can hear them kind of snapping in place and uh, they don't come out all that easily. They're in there pretty tightly. Now, when I first started using it, I wasn't sure exactly what my battery levels were until I took my phone out. And when I flip open the lid here, what you'll get is a battery indicator at the bottom of your phone that gives you an idea as to how much juice you got in your case as well as the ear pods themselves. And you can see here I was using uh, one of these as a Bluetooth adapter earlier, so the batteries are a little uh, uneven at the moment. So I might want to charge these up for a little while if I intend to have a long listening session. So there are uh, two independent batteries, one in each ear AirPod, so you'll want to make sure that uh, you keep them all charged up. But generally when you're done listening, you just pop them in the case here and uh, within a few minutes they should be at parity for their charging status. And one of the cool things about how this pairs up is that it uses your iCloud account for all of your other Apple devices. So once it's working with your phone, all your other devices will see them. You don't have to repair 
every time you want to use them with a different device. So if I put them in right now, because I have the ear detection on, uh, my phone will automatically pick them up and start driving audio to them. Uh, but let's say I want to go over to my Apple TV maybe and just have the Apple TV output to them. If I go over here to the Apple TV and select Lon's AirPods in the audio output settings, uh, that will then send the audio out to that uh, particular device. And likewise, if I go over here to my MacBook Pro, uh, if we go over to the uh, speaker setting here, uh, you can see I now have the ability to select my AirPods as another audio output source. And again, I didn't have to pair this up with anything. I get the battery indicator there right on the uh, volume screen. And because all these devices are on my iCloud account, everything works just automatically between them. And you can also pair them up with Android devices or anything that supports Bluetooth for that matter. You can see them showing up here on this Android phone. Uh, what you do have to do is hold down this button here on the back of the box with the uh, ear pods uh, inserted in there. And once you do that, uh, it'll be available as a Bluetooth source and you can use it with all of your uh, Android and other devices too. So pretty versatile. They're Bluetooth and they're also uh, using this custom Apple technology as well, but uh, they'll work pretty much across any platform. Now there are not many configuration options for the AirPods, but when you are connected to an iOS device, there are a few things that you can configure. Uh, what you do is go into the Bluetooth menu and then click the little I next to the AirPods and that will bring you to the configuration screen here. Uh, you can name them in case you've got a couple different AirPods that you want to use with your devices. And then they've got an option here for uh, the double tap that you can make on each side of the AirPod because they have capacitive sensors on here. Uh, so if I were to double tap this, uh, what'll happen is I'll get Siri. Let's turn off Siri here real quick. Uh, but what I did though on the right one is I configured it to uh, play and pause. So if I'm out walking the dog or something and my neighbor walks by, I can just tap twice on the right side of my head to stop the music and talk to them. Or of course I could just pull the AirPod out and it'll detect that I did that. But oftentimes a lot easier just to double tap. Unfortunately, uh, there is no volume control on the AirPods themselves. You have to use your phone, which is kind of defeating the purpose of having wireless AirPods in the first place. Uh, or you can ask Siri to turn the volume down. But the only thing you can do right now on the AirPod is Siri, play, pause, uh, next or previous track or not have it do anything. And that was my biggest gripe with it because I just think it's kind of clunky to have to ask the uh, phone to turn down the volume, whereas I would much prefer to just take a swipe down or something with some kind of gesture control to do it. And that's been the biggest adjustment for me is that I'm used to having those uh, little uh, volume rockers on the uh, ear pods themselves, which is what the default ones come with. Uh, these don't have any volume control whatsoever, and that's my only knock against them at this point. Now at the bottom here, you're going to see a microphone configuration and what you can do is have it uh, automatically pick the best microphone for having a phone conversation or you can always set it for uh, one or the other. Now if you're curious as to what these sound like when you are recording, you're listening to what it sounds like right now. I'm using the uh, voice memo app on the iPhone to record this. Now unfortunately, uh, you cannot record stereo right now out of the ear pods, which I think would, would have been an awesome feature to be able to capture stereo audio at about the distance that your ears are apart from each other, but right now they don't support that. They're really used mostly as a Bluetooth microphone for phone calls and that kind of thing. So the audio quality for recording isn't as good as what you'll hear out of them, but uh, good enough for a phone call, I guess. And overall, it's a very nice product. In fact, I was really surprised, as I mentioned earlier, uh, just how good these things are. I also found the range on these is better than most of the Bluetooth headphones that I've been playing with. Uh, typically what I do when I go out and walk the dog is I throw the phone in my back pocket and a number of Bluetooth headphone sets that I've had over the years don't seem to work quite well uh, when I go outside with them uh, with the phone in my back pocket. I'll have drop-offs and that kind of thing. Uh, the range on these feels a little better. I had decent range also when I was playing with the Apple TV earlier across the room. So I think by and large, these are probably a little better than what you might get from, a, uh, from an inexpensive pair of Bluetooth headphones, for example. The audio quality, again, is not going to be spectacular on these. It's decent enough, but it's going to be the same as what you might get out of the default pair of uh, Apple EarPods you get with your phone. So don't expect great audio out of here. It'll be good audio, uh, but not great. You'll probably want a pair of over-the-ear headphones or something for uh, a greater fidelity for music listening. You're not gonna get the deep bass and that kind of thing, but uh, they're great for walking around the city so that you can at least be aware of your surroundings while you're also consuming content. And that's why I like these things quite a bit. Uh, the fit and finish is really nice. If you get them in the right ears here, uh, they do stay in and don't fall out. And that's been uh, probably the biggest thing that I've liked about these. They're very comfortable and uh, really 
generally hold themselves in place pretty well, even under some pretty rigorous walking and maybe even jogging. So that's going to do it for the Apple AirPods. These have been out for a while, but they're new to me, and I thought you all might like to hear my thoughts on them. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and we'll see you next time. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Black Eyed and Blues Music Hour podcast, Chris Allegretta, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.